Welcome back to Art Gem Interviews. Today we're here with the One Dollar Boston artist, also known as... My, my name is Nick Shea. Nick Shea. We got his Sharpie here. We've been using uh, the as the microphone here, so <laughs> let me just clip... Oh, it might not fit on here. Maybe on this, this part. Oh, on this part. Maybe. Might work out. Man's a creative. <laughs> That's why he's out here. Here we go. Perfect. <laughs> got, the, got the microphone here. So... Tell me about your inspirations, how you got out here to do this all, and, uh, oh, we got a truck, hold on. Yeah, I want to make sure. Make sure you can pass. All right, so, so Nick, tell me about your inspirations and how you got into this and how you got out here drawing the $1 drawings. Um, well, I got out here doing the drawings because I've been drawing since I was a little kid. I've always been... Like, I grew up in Boston, so I'd always just come to the park and draw people, and it was just like a way I was like, well, I'm trying to meet some new people, so maybe, uh, let's go see what this is like, you know? It wasn't always with the pizza box, I would just use, like, a random piece of cardboard. My friend inspired me to do the pizza box, I used to work at a pizza place. Okay. Um, and he was like, yo, Nick, <laughs> pizza box. And it's it's like, perfect. I actually... Um, funny enough, I was walking through here maybe six months ago, maybe a year ago, and I saw this one dollar drawing of you. I saw a little thing; it was floating around Boston Commons, and I took a picture of it. And I was like, "This is awesome!" Like, I don't know who this is, what it is, who's doing it, but um, it's cool to to put all the pieces together, you know. For sure. And considering your artistic style, how do you how do you develop your style, and um, where where has that influence come from in your life? Do you have other influences where your art has come from? Is it more you know yourself or yeah you know I, people ask me that question a lot like where like how did I start drawing like this or how did I choose this style it's like I don't know if I chose the style it's more just like I've just been drawing and it just has come from just uh just years and years of drawing I used to draw this face like in a different way I used to look like not more detailed but it was just more stuff going on so I was really trying to simplify things and I learned to like draw this face from drawing on the train I would draw. I would just try to draw as many people as I can, and people would move fast. So I'd be like, "Well, yep. how, like, what does like everybody look like? Like, yeah, like quick." And yep. like it, that com that also comes from like like uh, graffiti. Like uh, used to. I mean, I still do a lot of street art. Sure. But just like when you do like a, a quick tag, it's like you want to do it as quick as possible. Yep. Where no one knows. You know. You know. You don't even knows that you just did it. Right. Um, so it does come from that. Some of my like favorite or some of my big inspirations. Um, you know, it's actually, uh, I heard this thing with MF Doom. He said um, that, uh, like, oh, if you if you made a beat or you heard a beat, like, what would you want to put it, like, what, what is something you'd want to hear on that beat? Mm -hmm. Like, and then you put it there. Like, you, you imagine what you would want to hear or you'd want to see, and you make it happen. So I yeah. kind of thought, I took that and I was like, if I was walking through the park, like, and I wanted to see something, what would it be? Like, yeah. like what would I want to put in the world? That's awesome. Um, and you know, yeah. it, it just it, it just comes from just over time of just like so many different interests and like I love talking to people, love drawing, love having uh, just in the yeah. moment experiences. So it's just like I don't know. It's like nothing. No one ever told me to do this or like you know nothing. It was nothing like a single moment. It was just like I kind of just started doing it. Yeah, just spontaneously, just coming out here and doing this. Yeah, That's yeah. what I love about your work. You know, it's not like it's so forced. It's just so in the moment. And and like you said, like your your simple style of, of, of the dot dot and like having your characteristic of like you're uh, you're like a character out of the 1990s uh, skating around Boston Commons and drawing. <laughs> and uh, do you take inspiration from like cartoons or other like 90s, uh, uh, you know, phenomenons? Yeah, yeah. I, I love Beavis and Butthead. Beavis okay. and Butthead is probably uh, like the drawing style. I think is really good. Uh, it's really funny. I always love when like I make a drawing that makes me laugh and, like not in a way where it's like making fun of somebody or anything like that But it's just like it's just fun. Just something about it. It's just like it just makes me laugh like yep. uh, That's always been like, you know I do a lot of drawings in my sketchbook that like are for me like all these drawings that I do I do them I give them away. Yep. I might never see them again I usually don't take pictures of them, but um, yeah the drawings in my sketchbook I always take time to make sure I'm drawing in my sketchbook just for me and uh, if I can make myself laugh with a drawing, I think yeah. I did pretty good. And, but, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, I was going to say, but yeah, I was, like, it's early, ni like, 90s stuff. Beavis and Butthead, Mike Judge, uh, I think he's a great artist and somebody who's, like, it's just very, like, distinct. Mm -hmm. Like, um, you know it's Mike Judge 
and um, you know it's Nick Shea, you know exactly. Yeah. <laughs> do you, would you find that Boston inspires you? Boston, Boston Commons. How has the city inspired your work? Um, I don't. I never really thought of that. I, well, I guess like uh, I'm inspired by the Commons because, um, you know, like this pathway that I'm always on. A lot of people just come by like for. Uh, I mean, they pass by like for work. Like this, is just their commute. Like they're going to school. There's like campuses in the area. Um, but people also come here from all over the world. Like just just today, I drew a few people from Atlanta. Um, you know, like people are here for whatever reason. So it's really in- to, to me, I'm inspired by the fact that I can meet so many different people from all over, and uh, like the world, like so many the world. Uh, there's people from uh, Colombia, like uh, just a few minutes ago. Just, how's it going, man? Um, like uh, you know, it's like the world is like coming by, but then yeah. you know, then there's like the local people as well, which I really, you know, the longer I sit out here, uh, you know, I've been seeing I've been seeing him sure. almost every day since last year, <laughs> um, so it's like it's been really cool to like make friends with people, yep. um, and just uh, you know, just be really consistent with coming out here and just having all these experiences. And as a local yourself, um, I know that you're really in the present, in the moment. You know, not so like on social media and on online, but you're more about like the, uh, not to put words in your mouth, but like to to be like in the per in in the moment, you know, in the person, and like to come and like like be if you want to do it, it's it's in real life. Right, right. Um, does that ha- how like is that purposeful? Is that like um, you're you know what I mean? No, of course. Well, I like. Um I've had a lot of people recently hit me up like, yo, I'm gonna send, like, if I send you a picture, will you draw me? And I did a couple of them, but then I started just thinking like, well, it's like, you know, it's, I really appreciate, like, I started doing this to meet new people. Yeah. And I can't really meet new people just if they send me a photo. Like, it's kind of like they're just, they just want the art. And I really appreciate that because they want- In person is, is where it's at, man. Yeah. You, you got it going on. They want the art. And you know, uh, recently a lot of people have been coming out here and like uh, taking their time to be out and like, the, the cold like it's not the best weather out here yeah. you know so it's like i'm trying to honor the people who are really out here it's supposed to be a chance encounter it's like a yeah. side quest yeah, yeah, yeah. on a video game you know like, <laughs> you're not like uh, there's no cheat codes you gotta actually go find it i'm not sure how side quest maybe you can cheat code a side quest but uh yeah, I, no cheat codes out here you gotta come out explore the open world and, and you've been out here for like more than even like like years right i mean you've been doing this for a long time right yeah the first time ever was in uh 2017 and I did it off and on, but since last, it was like the end of last May, May 2021, I started coming out every day, and it was just like, I don't know, like, I feel like the first day I started coming back out here again, like, it was just such a positive response, and I enjoyed it so much, where I was like, I just wanted to keep doing it, and yeah. there's people, you know, people motivate me in the way that they're like, hey man, keep doing what you're doing, Hell yeah. keep going, and I'm like, hey, I can't let these, can't let these people down. <laughs> Do you find, have you found it to grow over time? Has it been consistent? I know I walked by the other day, it was a weekend, you know, today's a uh, weekday, but it was it was a weekend and you got this whole line of people, like 70 people long, three hour wait long. Is that typical for you? Has that become new with your TikTok sensations and, and uh, Boston Globe article and all that? Or has uh, it been consistent throughout? What have you found? Well, there definitely have been days where there's nobody who stops by. Maybe there's three people. It always depends on the day, the weather, and everything. Um, but I think there's uh, some people think that uh, since like the like the first day I ever did this was like when people saw those TikTok videos, like oh he just started doing this. But I've been doing this for a while, and like even in like 2019, uh, I did this in New Orleans, and um, oh, wow. I'm really grateful that there was like a a, a good line of people there. Like there, I remember my my friend Nathan, he was like, yo man, that was crazy because he's, <laughs> he's an artist who's a uh, down there in Jackson Square, um, and yeah, like so, it's always been something that's like garnered some response or some people uh, taking the time. But it has been a, a lot more with uh, with uh, TikTok recently, and, and I like I like um, the TikTok uh, how how it's been seen through TikTok because I didn't make the TikToks. That's the best um, part of it. You're like yeah. uh, Kawhi Leonard who doesn't have any social media <laughs> at all, and he's just like the absolute G, and he just <laughs> fan pages and like. Right, right. I do have Instagram, and I do have a TikTok. I'm just not uh, super active on it. But Instagram, I'm very active on. Yeah. Um, you know, like, but that's the thing. Like, I post, I do post some of these drawings on Instagram, but I post my other work. I also make music, I skateboard. So, you, you know, it's showcase a, it all. Yeah, you know, in a way that this, like, doing this is like, you know, like the you might just stop by, get a drawing, not even remember my name, but you got the drawing and you like that. 
further than that, you might start following me on Instagram, yeah, yeah. stay in touch. Maybe you check out my music. Mm-hmm. So it's like a, you know, it's a, just it's been a great way for me to meet new people in the sense of having interactions, but also like show people about my artwork. You know, and like I said, like 2019 New Orleans, there's still people. Uh, I, just, I messaged, I just messaged someone uh, just yesterday from that who waited in that line. Yeah. Um, so you know, it's just Very like. Cool. It's uh, just in little interactions. It's it's the the open up a pizza box has been the way of like uh, inviting people in. You bring um, sparkle to so many people's days. They don't even know it yet, and they walk by and like. <laughs> I do my best, you know. Yeah. With every drawing, I always make sure, you know, the conversation is like just like added on top of it, because um, really you're here for a drawing. You know what I mean? Like, or and I th- the experience, you know. Well, that's what I th- sure. like. For me, it's like if you're walking by, you want the drawing, and then the experience is like, whoa, like. Right. I thought it was going to be a drawing. I want to make sure, sometimes people are like, it's only a dollar, what is it going to, it probably sucks, who cares? <laughs> but I'm like, no, I want to, like, I want to, I try to exceed expectations, but it, it yeah. you know, it's also like, it's just something where it's just like, you know what, I have a dollar, like sometimes people are going through stuff in the day, maybe they had a bad day at work or something like that, and it's just like, you know what, yep. why not, let me, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, let me do this real quick. All right, my last question for you, Nick, I know you got a line here and I don't want to hold you up, but... Do you have any uh, advice for aspiring artists uh, coming up and uh, want to get some inspiration? Yeah, for sure. I think, um, I mean, number one is stay consistent because, you know, like, like I said, some people think that was the, like seeing me on TikTok was like the first day I ever did this. Like, no, I've been doing it for almost five years before any of that started happening. Um, but like, e- even in the, even beyond, without TikTok, like there's been times where like people, um, they'll stop or they'll 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 walk by me like a million times and then the day they stop they're like you know what man i've seen you for four months all always here today's the day i'm gonna stop for a drawing today so it's like awesome Awesome. like good thing i kept coming because here you are like and um so i'd say definitely stay consistent and i think see um like see your own results like don't like measure like your results by other people's standards like create your own standards of results like if i draw one person in a day and it means something to them it's like that's a big success um you know don't don't um don't undermine one person some people are like man only one person's listening to my that one person might really love your work so like you know don't don't say that like oh it's only one person that one person could uh it could mean a lot to them and um you know, you just gotta, you really just gotta keep going. And, uh, you know, also, like, for anybody who is trying to start, whether it's music, whether it's drawing, skateboarding, whatever it is, you just gotta start. Like, um, you know, if it's music, like, you might be like, I don't get the right microphone. I, I don't know what to do. If you got a, a voice notes app, you can sing a song into that. Just get started, you know? Like, it might not be, um, you know, what the quality you think it should be but if you don't ever get started then you know you'll never be able to you'll never have anything to to build off of so whatever it is just get started and uh and and see and see your goals for 10 years in the future (laughs) nice great meeting you it's a pleasure keep up the great work i appreciate it and uh (laughs) keep drinking water (laughs) stay hydrated Looking good. So Looking cool. good. The reaction. Oh my god, we're so cute! We're so cute! Oh my god, that's adorable. Get the dollars. Here, so we'll get going. So you say, Why do you like to use a Sharpie out of any other material? You know, I like using the Sharpie because you only get one shot, one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted. You know, I could capture, I could just let it slip, but uh, Pencil over a sharpie. <laughs> well, uh, no, I, I like using the sharpie just because. Um, it, no, it really is just one shot, and it's just like I, I like how it, it comes out really clean. Um, I don't know. I think when I first started doing it, it was just like what I had. Um, that's the thing. Like I didn't really think too much about it when I first started doing this. It was more just so like I just just what I had, and then uh, it's t- it's gotten me this far, so I'm not gonna change it up now. Yeah. You know, yeah. but. Uh, there is also that thing where I notice from people, they're like, yo, he's only using a Sharpie. Or like, how's he, like, you know, you can't make no mistakes. But then of course when they say that, it's like, oh snap, pressure's on. Do you ever make a mistake and have to redo it? Not anymore. No, definitely not. No. Uh, <laughs> no, if I ever do, it's, it's usually like at the beginning where I just notice like, oh, okay, well, let me restart. Yep. But, uh, you know, a big part of uh, my, a big like thing where I learned to draw was on the train. And um, 
I, I, th I said that earlier, but uh, like uh, drawing on the train is like, you really do only get one shot to just capture the moment um, because then the people are gone, the train's moving and stuff like that. One of my favorite artists' name is Jason Poland. He passed away a few years ago, but uh, he would, his, his drawings were like photographs, like in the sense of like, not, not perfect drawings. He, uh, he's from Michigan, but he was based in New York. Um, but they're, they're like photographs, not in the sense of they're perfect, like picture perfect, but like he captures a moment, like he sees some and it's like, oh, I got it. Yeah. And it's just like you, it, it's not about getting like the perfect details. It's about capturing the moment. So that's what like, you know, being on the trains, like, well, however it happens, like the trains bumping around, however the drawing's going to be is how it's supposed to be. Um, so, you know, I really just try to just let it be just what it is. Of course, like, you know, I've been drawing for a long time, so I have experience with it. But however the drawing comes out is you know, what it's supposed to be like. Oh, yeah. Like, how many drawings have I done ever? That's too hard to say. I don't know. I, I, think, I was trying to think of it because every pack of cards I get is 100 cards. And I must have bought like 50 packs of cards. So maybe that's a 5,000. But I have no, because some of them I don't use every single card. I have no idea. But it's definitely in the thousands. I would love for one day to like, uh, to see what the actual number is if that's possible. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's definitely got to be in the thousands because I've gone through a lot of packs of cards. You know, that's what like that's what I said earlier. Like, if someone asked me what'd you do today, I'd be like, I don't know. I drew some people. Someone gave me a dollar. I was looking at the dogs. It was a good time. You know. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I just hope people take some time to enjoy their days. And uh, I do think. There's